If a flood is imminent and you have fuel oil heat in your home, there are several steps that you need to think about to protect your home from a heating oil spill. A fuel oil tank will typically be in the basement, at least in the colder parts of the country. And if that fuel oil was to get spilled into the basement because of that flood event, it would float across, get into the concrete, get into the wood, and soak into those materials, and it would be virtually impossible to, to get that fuel oil out. The things that we need to look at is, well in advance, check to see that the fuel tank is anchored. Uh, if it isn't anchored, we need to go through some uh, way of anchoring that tank in place. Otherwise, once the water comes in, it'll just float like a cork. So if we could put anchor bolts down into the concrete, that would be preferred, but some way to, to anchor that tank. The other thing to do is to try to remove as much fuel oil as we can. And, and that typically can be done by the fuel oil supplier. Call them and they can come out, pump out that tank, or at least the majority of that fuel uh, so that it minimizes the amount of fuel oil that might get spilled if it was to get spilled. The next thing then would be to actually seal that tank as much as we can. So the tank will have a shutoff valve, uh, just typical to a, a faucet valve or some other valve where you turn that and close that off. Also where the top of the tank there will typically be several openings. This tank has one that shows the relative amount of fuel oil that is in the tank. And then we have the pipes that bring that fuel oil in. And again, we would want to try to seal those as much as we can, cap them off so that we don't get the fuel oil spilling out of that tank if the basement was to get flooded. Fuel oil is lighter than water, and so it will tend to float. And if we were to have water that would get into this tank, uh, that would displace the fuel oil. The fuel oil would come flowing out of the tank and out and around the basement. And so it is critical that we seal all of the openings that we can to prevent either that water getting into the tank or the, the fuel oil coming out. The, as I indicated, the fuel tank will, will act as a cork, and so the anchoring of that tank is very important. Uh, otherwise, it'll just come loose and, and float up and float around in your basement. So these are some steps that you really need to do uh, if flooding is imminent to try to minimize the damage that might occur to the basement of your house.